Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. P. Diddy released an apology video after footage of him pounding on his ex-girlfriend Cassie was exposed to the public. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you gotta do that. I was f***ed up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. But I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy, and go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. I don't feel like this apology is sincere at all. I don't think Diddy is genuinely sorry for his actions. I do think he does feel guilty that he was caught. I think he feels ashamed that people now see him for who he truly is because he tried to mask this side of himself and tried to rebrand himself as Dr. P Diddy Love, whatever he was going by. He was calling himself Brother Love, but obviously he's Brother Hate. He was full of hate and he was putting them hateful hands on Cassie and many other men and women. And the thing is, before the video came out, he tried to deny that he was guilty of any of the allegations. He said, enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Troop, Sean Diddy Combs. Boy, bye. Nobody want to hear that. We don't want to hear that because we know that he's not being genuine. An apology is only effective if there's changed behavior that follows it. The problem with Diddy is he didn't change his behavior because after this whole incident where he was dragging and kicking Cassie in this hotel, he still was putting his hands on her. Cassie tried to leave him after this incident. She tried to hide, but he sent his people to track her down. And they were threatening her and saying, if she doesn't return his calls, then her music that she worked hard on wouldn't be put out. Also, Diddy was sending his lawyers to get her. And in the lawsuit, it said each time Miss Ventura tried to run away, Mr. Combs and his powerful network would force her back to him. After this hotel incident, Diddy was still putting his hands on Cassie and he even attacked her friend, Carrie Morgan. Two years after the fact, she was still desperately trying to leave. And in September, 2018, he tried to force his way into her apartment and she tried to reject him, but he forced himself on her and violated her in the worst way. So you gotta understand why we're not buying this apology because Diddy is apologizing for something that he continued to do over and over and over and over and over again. Diddy has been repeating his behavior and at this point it's no longer mistakes. These are decisions. And listen, nobody in the world is perfect and I understand that Diddy has his own battles. He does have a drug problem and an anger problem. And to be honest, I feel like he's possessed by an evil spirit and he needs to be delivered and he needs Jesus to help him. I'm so serious about that. Some people will argue and say, no, it's mental illness. It's not mental illness. It's deeper than that. This is like a spirit. When you see somebody go out in public and shoot up a school, it's not mental illness. It's a spirit. And it's no different with Diddy, it's a spirit. And Diddy not only put his hands on women, he put his hands on men too. He's had people unalived. He allegedly has sent hits out on people. So this is not just mental illness. These are premeditated evil behaviors and it's really being dictated by the evil spirit 
that's in him. He needs to be spiritually delivered. He really does. And not only that, he needs someone who could help guide him into the right direction. Because I'm going to tell you one thing, the spiritual advisors that he's been going to like TD Jakes, they haven't been helping. Okay. TD Jakes hasn't helped Diddy, not a lick. And I hate to do it, but I have to criticize TD Jakes because he's out there at the parties, Diddy bopping with Diddy, but he's not telling him that he needs to change. He's not actually holding him accountable. He's only there for one purpose only, and that's to help Diddy's image. And the producer Little Rod said in his lawsuit against Diddy that Diddy actually recruited TD Jakes to help soften his image after Cassie's allegations. That's it, that's all. He wasn't truly helping him. He was allowing himself to be used by Diddy to get good PR. So I gotta give a special thank you to the people that was really like there for me. Bishop T.D. Jakes. Yeah, and also Cassie for holding me down in the dark times. Love. This BET speech is truly diabolical after knowing what we know, but see, T.D. Jakes wasn't there to really help Diddy. I don't feel like he was truly helping him. I think he was there to give him good PR, and in return, he got money, he got a big donation, he even got a slot on Diddy's network revolt before Diddy stepped down, of course. And also, he was invited to all the little Diddy bop parties. He actually got some opportunities from being tied to Diddy. And I think he kind of put that as a priority above actually helping Diddy change. Now, I will say that another person can't make another person change that person has to want to change p diddy has to want to change but i will say bishop td jakes compromised his own values and his own reputation to be associated with diddy and not really hold him accountable and look how it's backfiring people are now saying that he's complicit in covering up diddy's behavior they are accusing him of a lot of things and it's all because of that association. And now you have T.D. Jakes in his pulpit indirectly addressing Diddy's tape and speaking against DV, but I'm pretty sure in the years that he has known Diddy that he may have been aware of some of the stuff that he was accused of. But now it's not cool for him to be associated with Diddy anymore. So in order for him to protect his reputation, he has to distance himself and also he has to publicly condemn Diddy's behavior, which is what he did, at least indirectly. But I honestly don't think he would have said anything if that tape didn't leak. But he has to say something now because his name has been tied to Diddy. He's been looked at as Diddy's spiritual advisor. So to protect his image, he has to speak out against it. So this part of the sermon, in my opinion, was T.D. Jake's way of distancing himself from Diddy. When I saw the images that have been floating all over the news all week, it became difficult to watch. The atrocious, degrading, demeaning, debauchery. I, I, I know who it was, but I saw my daughters. As a man, I saw my, my daughters and it made me angry. It made me angry. And I thought if, if it affected me like that as a man, how much more is that, that image a trigger for women who have been through that, who are currently going through that, who are in the middle of that, who feel trapped in situations where you are being physically and emotionally and verbally abused. And it is possible to feel trapped and have a key to the door and still feel trapped in a situation you can't get out of. Let me tell you a couple of things before we pray, both for the victims and the perpetrator. There's something you need to understand. If you got a rage you can't control. If you have an emotional problem, a mental health issue, where you're bipolar, and your kids get scared when they hear your car coming home, you gotta get some help, dude. 
You got to get some help. You got to you got to come out of denial and get some help. So that's what TD Jakes had to say. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this mess down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.